Welcome back to the workshop. Today we're going to be working on an epoxy piece with multiple layers as well as some inserts and a wooden frame around the edge. First thing we're going to do is cut out the inserts and obviously, if you haven't guessed it from the title, it's Batman. Why? Because Batman. And that turned out pretty nice. And now we're just going to cut out a symbol as well. So cutting out the inside and then we're going to go around the outside as well. And this piece is going to get set down into the epoxy layer so we want to be able to have it flow through and sort of sink down as much as possible. Whereas the other piece is going to sit proud and stand out just that little bit more. And here we're cutting the dados in the frame material using possibly the world's greatest router table. Okay, and I'm going to cut some miters to put the frame together. Point here is labeling the sides A and B. So you always want to cut an A side and a B side with a jig like this. And putting a little pencil mark on them, make sure you don't get mixed up, cut the B on the A and the A on the B, and then nothing goes together properly. And this is what it looks like before we start on the epoxy. Now for this piece we're just going to be using the Just Resin dyes. We're also going to mix in some Glow in the Dark pigment powders. These are a new one, I've never used them before. Um, color match them to the epoxy wherever I could, but unfortunately only the white actually glowed noticeably. And that effect seems to have diminished over time. It was quite good for the first few days, but yeah, these were just cheap ones from China off eBay. Probably would not recommend getting the cheap ones from China off eBay. They really don't work very well. But they don't affect the final product, so yeah, it's a good thing to know. And there we go, into the box to cure up. It's not caught on camera, but after this has started to set for a while is when I came back and added those pieces there in. Uh, I wanted the epoxy to be a little bit thicker and more cured so it didn't displace as much when I dropped those in. This is the final ceiling layer going on the top. Um, following this, we'll just uh, unwrap it. And you can see there those little bubbles popping out of his head. Because I used MDF for these insets, uh, one side was sealed with paint, the other was sealed with an alcohol dye. It did not seal the MDF enough. I would absolutely recommend if you're going to do this sort of thing, seal them up with paint and two to three coats just to make sure that they're sealed so you don't have those bubbles just constantly coming out. And I actually had to come back another four or five times just to clean those up with the torch. And then this happened while it cured. Looked great and for some reason during the curing process the entire piece just completely hazed over. So something like this happens, there's only one thing you can do obviously, 
And that's to strip it all back. Which unfortunately ate into a little bit of the uh, stain that was used on the inset, but it still looks pretty good. And we'll just lay another coat of epoxy over the top and that'll seal it up and give it back that shine. When you sand this epoxy, you can always lay another coat over the top and it will restore that gloss finish. You'll see that here. So you can see all the depth and the color comes back. It's like it never happened, more or less. Once again, close the box up and we'll leave that to cure. Except it hazed again. And this, this is the results of what I had to do to get rid of the hazing a second time. So the entire piece went through the thickness planer and we stripped off about 8 mil off the surface so that just completely took away about two two and a half layers of epoxy and all of the frame and the surface paint on the inset is almost down to the lower layer um, sealed that up again and it turned out like this which in the end it was a lot more trouble than I was expecting but the end result looks pretty damn good uh, Hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, if you liked the video, throw us a like, leave a comment below, maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.